Okay, I have a very nice van lock. No doubt you'll be seeing a bunch of videos on these from uh, fellow Australian pickers um, because we did a group buy on them and they finally arrived. So here is mine. Um, here is the key, which goes that way and shackle opens. Uh, you can see down there, solid. So they are non-cuttable, uh, not destructively anyway. Um, so yes, that's the bidding. Uh, you can see you've got this, there's the top where that roll pin is, and you've got the different pins that go around. Now, interestingly, it's only this brass piece in the middle that actually moves, not, so you can't tension off this out bit, which it looks like you would be able to. So it's actually off the brass. So basically the lock just tensions off the pins um, themselves. So tensioning is difficult on these. That's the, the main sort of challenge on them. Otherwise they're just sort of like any old tubular lock. You just got to push the pins in and they act a bit tapered and around, 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 around you go. And eventually it pops. Um, they are also key retaining, so I can't pull the lock out while it's locked. Um, I'll have to pick it two positions to get it open. Uh, depending how long that takes, I might only go one. Um, but if it get it relatively quickly, we would probably just do both. Um, and then of course I'm going to have to pick it all the way back. Um, alternatively, I could grind off these little key retention nubbins on the inside of this key, and then I could have a put it back key and a normal key, but I don't know, maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't. Either way, let's mount that up. Uh, this is my tension tool, just a bodge ass one of these. I've just ground the tips down on these a little bit to be a bit smaller, because um, they were huge and would not fit. But like this, they do. So I'm just gonna stick that in these top two pins. And like, so now, of course, I have the benefit of having seen the key. So I know that those are quite deep pins, but really you just need a tension off. See, that's those two there and there. You just need to find two pins that are quite deep and pick them. Um, if you haven't seen the key, it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but if you have, obviously that helps a lot. So, there we go, that one's set. That one's set. One. Now, when I say set, I mean that you're going to need to have to come back to them. It's like they, they play a bit of a taper game. So, just going to go around and around. Try and keep out tension up but not let our tool slip out. Can feel some of these getting just that little bit stuck. Like that one. Uh, try not to lose our tension tool. It's not exactly perfect but it seems to be doing the job and I can just fit my picking wire down uh, next to the tensioner which is helpful. Otherwise, I'd need to get the tension arm either at exactly the right depth um, or be shifting it around a lot to get access to those pins, which is needlessly fiddly, and I don't want to do that. So you just go around, 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 around. Lots of tubular locks like this, they don't make for the most exciting picks in the world sometimes. You just get those minor little tiny stuck bits. So I'm feeling a little, go a little click there, which is good. As long as you get sort of one, a tiny, whoops, so you've got a big movement there. At least a little bit, oh, and there we go, picked. So that's, open but not shackle unlocked open so that would be us locked at 45 degrees so uh, now there's no driver in this position so we don't have to worry about that one now all right that's that one
Yeah, because there would be another driver under this position, so they do get a bit easier, like most GBL logs, in that uh, 45 degree position, one less pin to worry about. But, you know, still boring, just tap, tap, tap around and around and around. Different micro core rotations, which is good because to be honest, my arm's starting to get sore. All this repetitive poking. Oh, there we go. And there's us at 90 degrees and shackle open. So there it is, picked. Now, just gotta repeat that in reverse um, to lock it again, but I'm not gonna make you watch that on camera because it's the same thing, but backwards. Um, so again, it'll be one pin here I won't have to worry about, one pin here I won't have to worry about. Um, so it's a bit easier, but... There we go, that is the van lock. Um, mostly hard because of tension. Uh, that's the biggest challenge you're gonna have on these. If you can overcome that somehow, make a tool sort of like this, um, have the benefit of seeing the bidding and not going in blind, then, then you'll be all right. Um, but yeah, they're very cool little locks.